This is Miriam, and you're listening to KXVS, the voice of Stockton. You know what I got? I got a picture of his face with the little blue pillow on it. The sleep face. And we're, we're in Chicago. <laughs> Are they already in Chicago? This is the one and only Leo Biaz. Hey, Leo. I'm excited to be back, my man. Uh, it was nine days in Vegas. We got stuck in the desert, and we had a little hangover remix out there, man. Mm-hmm. Um, I wore a wig to school once and they said no headgear was allowed. <laughs> um, How did the, did spider they, Was it tights. obvious that it was a wig? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. I was, I was, was having a fun. Wig. <laughs> See, this is exactly why we have them on the show. And this is what makes them fun. You're listening to KXVS, the voice of Stockton, 92.1 FM. With Matt George and Leo Biaz. Cowbell Kingdom's podcast. I got a fever. And the only prescription is more cowbell. Thursday nights at 7 p.m. Right here on KXVS, the voice of Stockton. Do you want to relive the golden days of Stockton? Join Nate Knott on Stockton Alive every first and third Monday at 6 p.m. Tune into the voice of Stockton.org. My name is Josh, and you're listening to KXVS, the voice of Stockton, 92.1 FM. Catch us live on Facebook, YouTube, and the TuneIn app. The views and opinions expressed in the following program do not necessarily reflect those of KXVS, the voice of Stockton, or its parents, affiliates, management, and staff. The Voice of Stockton on KXVS presents Kitchen Conversations with Chef Tobias Cooks. Hello, 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 hello. Chef Tobias Cooks here with The Voice of Stockton. You can log on to The Voice of Stockton at Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, or Twitter. Please go on to The Voice of Stockton Facebook. Click like, share, and donate. Like, share, and donate. Support your local public radio station. Yes. And Chef Tobias Cooks, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, and Facebook. What? Yes. All right. All right. All right. Today is going to be a really, really quick podcast. We are going to be talking about Thanksgiving. Yes. I'm so excited about that. So Chef Tobias Cooks here. I don't have my paper today. I have my little phone has all my little list on it. So I got my little glasses on so we can talk about this. All right. Thanksgiving is coming up. It's in a couple of weeks. Um, A lot of people are cooking at home. A lot of people are going out to eat. A lot of people are going um, somewhere else. Um, normally during Thanksgiving, families, you know, they they take they take turns. They say, "Oh, we're gonna go to our parents' house, then we'll go to your parents' house." Or some people say, "Oh, we're gonna do this or do that." In my case, I'm at home cooking. <laughs> Yes, unless I have to work. So what I do, because that's my job, I am a chef and I cook. I tend to cook for other people for a living. I usually do my own personal cooking a couple days before. Um, Sometimes I'll do it a week before. Or the great thing about all of it is I have wonderful chef friends. Yes. So I have chef friends that have specialties. Um, They have uh, things that they cook, certain dishes that they're known for, they're famous for. So you know what? There's nothing wrong with me going to my chef friends and saying, hey, I need this and I need that. So if you do have some chef friends, please pay them. Pay them. Don't ask them to do anything for free this time of year. Please patronize them because this is their bread and butter. Doing this time of year, 
we make the bulk of our money all right so with that being said if you do have friends that have cakes and have pies um or if they're doing deep fried turkeys or if they're doing hams or if they're making dinner rolls this is a great time to go ahead and get your orders in yes if you are like most people that come to my house you going from house to house house jumping <laughs> as we call it please bring something do not show up empty-handed please don't do that don't don't no 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 don't do it this is what you do some simple things to do if it's like your auntie if it's your grandmother if it's your mother your mother-in-law sister-in-law whomever buy some flowers you could get some really big beautiful bouquet of flowers um, the stores have them all kinds of stores buy the largest one you can and split it up to like three small bouquets <laughs> Go to Joanne's, go to Michael's, get some ribbon, some holiday ribbon, and tie them on each one of them. <laughs> Put them in the trunk of your car, and that way, whomever house that you go to to eat at, you have some beautiful flowers for the lady of the house. Trust me, that will get you a plate to go. <laughs> It will get you an extra plate and it will get you a hug and it will give you an invitation to come back for the next holiday meal. So please, that is something to do. If not, bring a, bring our, bring our derbs. You could bring a fruit platter. You could bring a vegetable platter. You could bring drinks. <laughs> Someone over here drinks drinks yes bottle of wine goes a long way hey look a couple of sodas go a long way okay also napkins bring napkins bring paper plates paper spoons paper cups and my all favorite ice <laughs> If you show up to my house with a thing of ice, I'm telling you, I am your girl. I'm packing you a super plate to go. Yes. <laughs> so please, if you are visiting uh, families and friends for Thanksgiving, please do not show up empty handed. Um, the lady of the house always likes flowers. Uh, drinks goes a long way. Alcoholic drinks, drinks, uh, plastic um to go, uh, not to go cups and stuff for you, but <laughs> that goes a long way. Also, thank you cards go a long way as well. Okay, so that's just a really great tip for those that are going from house to house. The other thing, if you're going out to eat for Thanksgiving, I've gone out to eat for Thanksgiving and I like it. I actually like going out to eat for Thanksgiving. It's a great thing to do. You could go out, you can eat, you can eat all you want. You can sit there, you can talk, <laughs> you can get up and you do not have to clean up at all. And if you're someone like me, you will take a plate to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you will order a plate to go or you will put something in your little Tupperware, put in your pants. Don't say Chef Tobias cooks, but yeah, I do. I mean, hey, we all do it. And then that way when you go home that night, you got a little something to eat, right? <laughs> So eating out is a really great. There's some fantastic restaurants that are open. Um, there are places that still will be open for Thanksgiving. So if you don't feel like cooking or if you don't have time cooking or you're exhausted or you just want to spend time with your family without cooking and cleaning and going through the stress, go out to eat. The great way to go out to eat on a budget is the food that you're going to spend to cook anyway. Use that money to go out and eat. Pick something that's budget friendly for you and your kids. Maybe you can't pay for all the family members, but as long as you have your family covered and the other parties understand, then hey, that's a great thing to do. Okay, so another good thing to do for Thanksgiving we talked about you know, patronizing your chef friends. Um, I do this all the time. Uh, there are stores that have cooked dinners. There are stores right now they have uh, where they, they can make things for you. They have pre-made uh, stuff. That is a wonderful thing to do to add to your Thanksgiving uh, meal as well. You can go out and get your cakes. You can get your pies. You can get your dinner rolls. Um, in most cases, you can get some of your meats already pre-made. Go ahead. Order that, purchase it, bring it in, add it to your meal. It's wonderful. Um, another great thing for Thanksgiving 
is your food budget. Yes, a lot of people that eat different things for Thanksgiving. I've had all kinds of stuff for Thanksgiving. One time we had Chinese food for Thanksgiving. It was good too. <laughs> <laughs> One time we had fried chicken for Thanksgiving. We had roast beef for Thanksgiving. So, uh, and meatloaf. I have had meatloaf for Thanksgiving as well. So, think, si think outside the box. It doesn't always have to be um, turkey. Right now, prime rib is on sale. Yes, prime rib is on sale. I'm going to have to do another show on prime rib. I probably got to do a special live on prime rib. It's some great ways to make some prime rib. You know, I like a good prime rib every once in a while. I'm not really a big beef eater, but... um. Yeah, for prime whip, um, yeah, I can I can make an exception. <laughs> so right now, uh, it was a couple weeks uh, before Thanksgiving, all the sales are out. Check the grocery store sales right now. They're all coming to the house. You go to the uh, mailbox and you think you're gonna get a bill, and you get this thick old stack. <laughs> Uh, Thanksgiving sale items. Take advantage of that. You know, there's some really great sales going on. Uh, there's some great sales on uh, vegetables that are going on right now. There are uh, great sales that are going on cranberry sauces. If that's what you're, if that's what you do, uh, whatever you do, there is a sale right now. I strongly recommend that you get the sales. There's lots of sales on the um, cake cake uh, mixes right now um there's great sales on pastas right now the dry pastas uh, the cheeses are on sale so this is a great time to go ahead and start your grocery shopping if you have a freezer get some of the turkeys that's going on <laughs> it's the perfect time to stack up on turkeys i know a lot of stores they have if you spend 25 dollars you get a turkey on sale. Some stores, if you spend fifty dollars, you get a free turkey. Um, some have coupons right now; buy one get one free. Um, some of them have um, all kinds of good sales right now. So please take advantage of the sales. If you are a couponer, this is the great time right now. Um, I open up my email and I see all kinds of coupons. <laughs> download this, download that, and some of them I actually downloaded because they were pretty good. <laughs> So this is the time to go ahead and cut your coupons out. This is a great time to go ahead and collect the sales paper and to start uh, shopping for Thanksgiving. That way you don't be so overwhelmed when Thanksgiving comes. You know, um, I try to buy everything as fresh as possible, but some things I can buy and I could cut up and um, go ahead and freeze it. And then that way I can have it for uh, Thanksgiving. Okay, so some of the Thanksgiving trips. Um, cause oh, who's calling me? Okay. <laughs> well, here we are right now. So there's this, this huge thing. There's two things right now. We're going to solve it real quick. Don, you want to come to the table for this one? What's up? What's up? Macaroni and cheese. Okay. Is it a side dish or a main dish? You know, that's a main dish. Quit playing. Quit playing. I don't know. Can macaroni well, you and know cheese what? I'm gonna be tell you a main no, dish? I'm going to tell you the truth. Your macaroni and cheese game mm -hmm. will tell you whether it's a main dish or a side dish. If you don't have macaroni and cheese game, okay. then it's just a side dish. It might even mm -hmm. came out of a package. But if you got mm -hmm. macaroni and cheese talent, yes. yes, everyone is waiting on your macaroni and you... cheese. Everybody been thinking about it since last Thanksgiving. Okay, so this is what we going to do. <laughs> this is what we going to do. Your macaroni and cheese. Yes. If someone come up to the table uh -huh. and they fix their plate uh -huh. and it's like a little bit of macaroni and cheese uh -huh. and then everything else around it, uh -huh. or if they put the macaroni and cheese down first That's and then they, they put everything on top they of build, it. Build yeah. their plate. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> they start with the macaroni and cheese, then they put some greens on the edge. Yes. Then they put some stuffing on the side. Yes. They start laying yeah. stuff on top of the macaroni. That's that's it. So that's let's it. talk about the macaroni <laughs> cheese just real quick. <laughs> macaroni cheese is a favorite. It is a Thanksgiving favorite. Okay. Yes. A lot of people are like what is macaroni cheese? Google it. Okay. So here's the thing. It don't matter how you make macaroni cheese, like Don said, mm -hmm. as long as your macaroni cheese is the bomb. Okay. Yes. Some people do the package, and that package is so good mm -hmm. they add extra butter to it they add extra cheese to it right. <laughs> some people do six cheeses macaroni and cheese um i come from the south you only do one cheese uh -huh. 
You only do one cheese, and you swear that's the best cheese. It might be marble you ever though, had right? in your life. Yes. You like the marble Kobe? Yes. Might be. Some people put egg in the macaroni and cheese. Yes. Some people put canned milk. Some people put heavy milk. Some people make a macaroni cheese. They make a cheese sauce. Mm-hmm. Then they put the macaroni in it. Some people put the macaroni in a bowl, and then they add all the cheeses to it. So it's it's you know what? So here it is. If if your macaroni and cheese, yes. It's cooked in a pot and served in a pot, then that's all right. No, but it if can it's, be served. If, but if it's, but if it's, if it has to go on in aluminum trays, yes. and it has to be baked, yes. and it's a priority, <laughs> then that means that your macaroni yes. and cheese is I'm screaming. About to faint. It, it's I'm the about business. To faint. The macaroni and cheese for Thanksgiving has to go on a casserole. Please. I'm sorry. Please tell them that, Chef. It has to go on it, it a casserole. Goes in the oven. And it's not it, a stove top. No, item. it is not stove top. You just top. boiled the noodles on the stove. That's all you did. And the cheese <laughs> have to be burnt a little bit around the edges. A little bit right it gotta there. be a little bit crisp, just a little bit crispy on the top. Right, right. Yes, and you put the macaroni and cheese on the uh, table mm. as a solo artist by itself, right. and everybody else is just his friend. That's right. It's just a friend. It's just visiting the mac and cheese. Yes. It's, it's just visiting. Okay, so the second one, mm. dressing. Or stuffing? Um, I'm going to have to say, <laughs> y- you got to come with both. Because the light, fluffy stuff is nice, but that <laughs> thick, heavy dressing, you know, it's good too. So, so, uh, it, But since I'm a vegetarian, it's ne- my stuffing is never really stuffing because it's never been stuffed in nothing. <laughs> But uh, yes, and, uh, Stop. and are, so what's the difference between dressing? Oh, we should have been live. What's, the, the, what's the, the difference between dressing? And stuffing. I think it's it's culture. It's a word difference. Mm-hmm. People, because if you uh, if you go in a certain household, mm-hmm. no matter what it is, whether it's dressing or stuffing, everyone mm-hmm. calls it dressing. Mm-hmm. And another house, no matter whether it's dressing or stuffing, everyone calls it stuffing. Okay, there's the difference. Okay, tell it. Okay, so stuffing uh-huh. is done with bread. Yes. It's bread. Right. It's a bread base. Mm-hmm. It could be um, bread crumbs, mm-hmm. bread cr- uh Bread, bread uh, cube, right. dry bread, mm-hmm. or it could be French bread, mm-hmm. uh, baguette bread that mm-hmm. you cut up real big and you can leave it out for like a day and let it get real stale. But it's not cornbread. I'm getting to that. <laughs> That's a stuffing. A stuffing is bread. Stuffing is bread base. Yes, bread base. Yes. Dressing. Dressing. Is cornbread. That's right. Base. That's right. <laughs> Dressing is corn. Bread. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. Do you hear me? Yes, yes. Let's get it clear. It's not jiffy. It's it could be. It could be jiffy. It could be. I've had some dress. L- listen, right, listen. Right. I've had some dressing yes. over my years. Yes. With some jiffy cornbread. Mm-hmm. It was a little sweet. Mm-hmm. It was a little, little corn puddingish. <laughs> But it, it worked out. It worked. Okay. And you know, here's the thing: when you go into different people's houses, uh-huh. you cannot be. You can't oh, be. No. Can't be. Beggars can't, can't be choosing. Can't do that. <laughs> can't do that. That's why I recommend you bring the flowers. All there right. You, go. you can't do that. You're going to get what you get. Right. That's right. That's right. So here's the thing dressing is corn bread, preferably right. homemade That's right. cornbread. Right. Okay? Out, that pan, out that cast iron. Homemade cornbread, <laughs> homemade broth. Yes. You have to do the chicken broth or you have to do the turkey broth. Uh-huh. You know, you do the chicken neck. And you know, the, you could do a vegetarian mm-hmm. broth with a little mushroom We're going to get to that. There it go. It works. But I, the, I corn, say, the I, cornbread one, the cornbread one, yes. you got to do cornbread. You got to do the creamy mushroom, Ooh. creamy chicken, creamy mm. celery, you know, mm. Mm. And and that goes in the cat that goes in a big aluminum foil pan That's as well. True, okay, don't you be Make bringing it. up, don't you be bringing no dressing in no pot. It's oh not gonna goodness. happen. That's sad. You will have major leftovers. Okay, yes, yes. so and, and you might have a riot on your hands. Yeah. You know <laughs> what is this? No. So yes, the vegetarian <laughs> one also casserole as well. You have casserole. to do it in casserole. So that I I make vegetarian and yes. vegan uh, dressing all the time. My wife got to make mm-hmm. two kinds. She used yes. to make three kinds. She used mm-hmm. to make the regular dressing with the mm-hmm. with the broth. Yes. Then the vegetarian dressing, and then uh-huh. she would make uh, one. Uh, because my my son don't eat eggs, so sometimes yes. she have to 
modify it. So now yes. now it's just the two kinds of with and without eggs. Yeah, but. and then sometimes the onions, people get a little skeptical about the onions. Here's the thing with Need the onions. onions. Saute the onions. First. Saute your onions, yes. saute your bell peppers. So they're mild. So they're they're really nice and uh, translucent and mm-hmm. then you can put it all together. So my oh, favorite man, dressing, what's my hungry. favorite dressing? My favorite dressing is oyster. Oyster oyster cornbread dressing. Wow, I never heard of that. Oh. Okay. Some new, some new for me. It's divine. Is it? it it's divine. Okay. okay, so cranberry sauce. Can 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 I do like an oyster mushroom dressing? Is that? <gasps> you know, I never did that before. I think that would be delicious. You know what mushrooms are really good. You know the tall oyster mushrooms, the yes. king oysters. Mm-hmm. You know if you cut the stalk, Those are beautiful. if you cut them across mm-hmm. the grain mm-hmm. and and flash saute yes. them, they kind of mm-hmm. remind you of scallops. Yeah. Right? I never thought about that yeah, before. Yeah, so maybe... Uh, I'm going to try that. Serum on each yes. end like a scallop. Mm-hmm. I'm going to try and that. And this is a great time of year to get mushrooms, actually. Yeah. There's all there's beautiful mushrooms oh, that yeah. are out right Everywhere. now. So I think a melanie of mushrooms mm-hmm. um, with cornbread dressing would just go great. Ooh, I'm going to do it. Don't chef. forget your celery, though. You got to cut your celery. You got to have Don't it. forget that, please. Yes. Don't forget that. All right. So, cor- so cranberry sauce and no cranberry sauce. I make my own. I make my own from cranberries. Uh, I, I got to boil them. Yes. Yes, you got to cook them down. Uh-huh. Do you, you do orange? Do you I do orange, do orange juice? Yes, ma'am. Got to okay. have orange juice uh-huh. uh, and some cane sugars. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's about it. That's about all that goes in my... And you know what? The first time that I made it, everyone uh-huh. was skeptical because they got they, everyone was used to that jello stuff out the yes. can. And when you put it out, it's still shaped like a can. Uh-huh. They're used to that. But when I made mine the first year, uh-huh. they were like, picking at it a little bit <laughs> and the next thing i know it was gone and half that canned stuff was still sitting there so right. so after that they were like we got to make it every year so, so I'm doing it this the year. gravy white gravy or brown gravy well you know i'm vegetarian so i gotta be a white gravy i don't know do they make oh, it brown oh i guess you can no, make you an can onion make gravy bra- yep yeah onion yep, gravy. you sure can yep. you could you could uh make your uh what you do is you make your roux so mm-hmm. you make your roux real dark yeah with the yeah with, yeah get them and, onions brown mm-hmm. and then it'd be a nice brown yeah so gravy. it could be like a french kind of like yeah. a french onion kind of gravy yeah i like that yeah I like you that. do that that one there okay corn corn on the cob or no corn <sighs> <laughs> I, I love corn, so if corn shows up, I'm down. It could be whole, it could be kernel corn in a bowl. I'm good with it, but corn on the cob uh-huh. really go. Last one. This is a big one. Oh. So put this in the comment, everyone. This right. is a big one. I think I'm gonna make this a poll. This gotta be. This, I, this, I know what you're about to do. Go, what, what do go you ahead. Think? No, no, go ahead. What you it think? gotta be the greens. No, I'm not even talking about the greens. <gasps> okay, tell me. What, what we, you no, we can't talk about greens. Greens is a sacred thing. That is sacred. What? Like, as long as you have greens, it don't matter how you get them to the table. That's true. I'm going to eat them. Now, if they have pork in it, mm, yeah, no, I'm going to say my prayers the next day. Those are not day. greens. Those ain't greens. Yeah. yeah. But <laughs> however it? you put the greens, greens on the table, I'm going <laughs> exactly, to <I'm gonna> eat <laughs> the greens. I'm going to go for okay, it. Okay, so what were you, you going to talk about? All right, you ready? Yes. Oh, wait a minute. What? Sweet potato, uh, pumpkin pie. <laughs> no, we already got that established. Right. We already got that established. You know, you know, we did that a couple weeks ago. You make the sweet potato pie. We did that a couple right. weeks ago. Yeah, they, they 75 cents a pound. You better 80, make them. I did a poll, Ooh. a sweet potato pie. Okay, so this is what happened. We had a day. show. Go back on my show. I had a show that, was that, was a couple shows years? ago. No, it was, it was a couple oh, shows right. ago. We, I did a poll on my page, Face Tobias Cooks, and I put sweet potato pie or pumpkin pie. Sweet potato pie won by 81%. Of course, landslide. So I'm not going to ask that question. The question we're going to ask for things. Thanksgiving. This is the last one. Mashed potatoes mm. or candy yams. Uh, see, think about it. Think, uh, take a minute. You know, that's the same question take as sweet potato minute. pie or, or, or pumpkin pie. We know we, we know what the faces around that table look like. Yes, <laughs> mashed potatoes. Or candy yams. So, so candy yams mm-hmm. every year for sure. But you know what is mm-hmm. nice is when you get a little mashed potato with a little red potato in it with the skin on a little bit on the with a little bit of no, herbs. That's no. nice with a little Mm-mm. butter and no, all that. But no, not no. Thanksgiving got to be no. yams. Ma- okay, so Thanksgiving has to be yams. Gotta be yams. Candy yams. Candy yams. Okay, so no mashed potatoes or candy yams. Let 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 somebody bring them mashed potatoes. You got to make those yams. You can't have a, a Thanksgiving table without yams. So. All right. The, that's all a, the Native right. Americans had yams at their table. All right. <laughs> well, well, we're not gonna say that because according to them, we should be doing none of this. But greens, but, we're gonna skip greens. Yes. 
can look, I, look, let, let me, me throw my greens in okay, there. Go okay, ahead. okay, go first ahead. of all, collard greens. greens, love them. Okay, collard uh, greens. If you get them at, at the right time, mm-hmm. they'll be a dollar a bunch. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you could do like the... You got to take the stem out. You got to take the stem out. You got to wash the them. Out. If you don't yes. pick your greens and wash them, you're going to be eating yes. grit. <laughs> yes. So, oh, these greens are... Oh, mm-hmm. is that yes. sand? Okay, so collard greens. Collard greens, like a majority collard, a little bit, maybe one or two mustards in there to round up the flavor. You can even throw something else like a chard or a kale is nice even to stick in there. But you know what I did new this year? Mm -hmm. It's called moringa. Mm -hmm. Moringa is a leaf. It comes from a tree, and it's a superfood from Africa. They they eat it Mm -hmm. a lot in in the Philippines and in India. Wow. And if you pick it right, Mm -hmm. which is just the little tiny leaves, it tastes halfway between a collard and a kale, but it doesn't cook as long. So that you add at the end. So, wow. Never, so moringa is good, and it's a superfood. So. Never, never, never heard of that before. Yeah. I'm going to look that up. Yeah, yeah. check it out. It mm-hmm. tastes great. It's like a, a slightly milder kale flavor. I do not discriminate on greens. Yes. <laughs> Green it up. Chard. Cabbage, Make chard. chard Make, it don't matter. Rainbow kale, chard. Swiss chard. White collard, chard. Mustard. Mustards. It does not matter because I'm going to add some hot sauce and brown mm. sugar and I'm good. Yes. And the, the cornbread. Oh, yes. the, the, I mean, please make some greens this thing. Yes. You. All right. So we are out of here. We got caught up in our Thanksgiving show. We sit up here and memorize. Okay. So you could go I'm to drooling. You could go to Google. Um, there's tons of shows on Thanksgiving if you want. Why to do you do that to us, Chef? You have the stream bean casserole. You have the squash casserole. Uh, you have a ton of casseroles. You have your uh, sweet potato casseroles with your marshmallows. Oh, don't do that. Don't but, do it. Butternut don't squash it. is good if you can work that into something. Yes. Don't do that either. Mm. Uh, <laughs> cauliflower or whatever. Yes. yes. yes so the basis, working into something. <laughs> the basis of Thanksgiving, you need to have some kind of protein. Yes. You need to have about... 15 different starches. Yeah, meat. I made some veggie meatloaf. Make loaves. sure about meat loaves. all the good. vegetables are cooked. We do not want to see a salad on the table of Thanksgiving. <gasps> what? No. Not even a spring green with the mix and the with the almonds and the little uh, cranberries? No. Oh. Save it for the salad. Save, Save it, it for, for the, the day sandwich. After the <laughs> Save it for the sandwich. Save it for the sandwich day after. Save it for the sandwich. <laughs> All got... right. <laughs> All Don't right, forget, if you're going to someone else's house, please bring something. Um, if you're doing a potluck, yes. pick it up. Just pick up a cake. Pick up a, a Don't show a up pie. empty-handed. Do not show up empty-handed. Go ahead. Get your sales. Get your coupons together. Mm-hmm. Uh, per- patronize your chef friends, your cook friends. Bigger. Buy something from them. Yes. Go ahead. Get um, some good pre-made stuff. Add it to your meals. Mm-hmm. Make sure your macaroni. Macaroni cheese is in the casserole and it's sitting in the middle foil. of the. <laughs> he said foil. You can do a glass one. Yes, yes. You foil on top. One. You gotta, you yeah. gotta keep it. You do, do the glass on. You do the glass one. If you got it like that. Yes. If you have it like that. If not, go to the Dollar Tree. All you know, right. You know. Chef Tobias Cooks is out of here. Wishing you a great. Um, ha- uh, happy uh, Thanksgiving. Um, do you start doing your Thanksgiving shopping now? Save you some time and some money. Yes. All right, Chef Tobias Cooks here with the Voice of Stockton. Please log on to the Voice of Stockton. Go to YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Also, visit me, Chef Tobias Cooks. See what I'm doing for Thanksgiving on my Facebook page, Instagram page, and YouTube page. See you next week. Yeah,